was in school lunch, it was obviously different from how it is now. I remember the kindness of the staff that works in school lunch, coming from Boston and New England. Uh, Friday was always fish day, and that was one of my favorites until they started baking cheese into it. Now, not even I would eat it anymore. My favorite part of the job has to be getting out to school sites, seeing how passionate my employees are, how well they take care of our students, and seeing the sheer joy and happiness that certain menu items make for kids at Desert Sands. He really does listen to us. If I have a concern or even if I have a praise, I could take it to him and he will definitely hear me and either follow through with that and kind of express it and we can move together as a team to fix it. I never, I didn't, I didn't know that there was someone even in charge of the nutrition program. But when I first met him, you know, I was like, oh, so that's, that's, that's who's in charge of me eating all my lunches every single day when I go to school. School nutrition has to be one of the most misunderstood branches of the education process, but we do offer fresh fruits and vegetables, all kinds of great food every day. But the, the challenge is always getting that word out to the community because parents don't generally see it. The lunch ladies don't allow you to get ranch for your care. So I told I told Mr. Capello about that and he was like he's like, oh you know, you know, they should definitely be giving ranch ranch out uh, for carrots and it, it was funny, he ended up giving me a big packet of ranch for myself to keep so I can bring it to school. During the pandemic, we were approached by a local farmer, and at first I began to think of all the hurdles that there would be to actually serve local produce, but he was very easy to work with. We started buying from the farms. These school districts had so many of their own challenges to begin with, and the last thing on their mind was some date farmer from Thermal, and he did a fantastic job not only listening to some of the challenges that we were facing, but he also did a fantastic job helping me understand what the challenges of getting into a school district were. I didn't know at the time, but I found out later that their farm workers have children in our district. So through purchasing directly from the farm and giving it out to our students through curbside, we were able to keep the students of the farm workers enrolled at Desert Sands. And I think that, that was just a tremendous win-win for all of us. Dan's spirit of innovation was caught by one of our middle school students. That middle school student then brought forth an idea of how to conserve some of the food waste that the student was seeing on a daily basis in a middle school. So what I had proposed was since so much fruits and vegetables were being thrown away by students, that we would just focus on that and students would be allowed, instead of throwing it away, they would be allowed to donate that. We have a food pantry here at one of our schools at Indio High School that serves our students, and it also serves some community members, which we thought was outstanding. And anyone who suffers with food insecurity could have gone at the end of the day and grabbed what they need, for not just for themselves, but for their family as well. Watching him with the kids is just amazing. He just, he, he speaks to them at their level. He asks them questions and he truly listens and responds. And when they have an issue with maybe a menu choice or the way that we serve food, he takes it seriously. He's very engaging, he listens. But more than that, Dan listens and then puts things into action. That's what's so impressive about Dan Capello. The end result is to make sure the kids get fed, that they remain healthy, and they get what they need. 